make the most of the facilities at your university and use the technicians as much as possible. Get yourself a dry marker board and, and write down your days where you're free and make a good piece of work. It all passed by really quick, so I've just got to enjoy it while it's happening. We can make our own future as opposed to just wait for luck. <laughs> My name is Kim Seymour. I studied fine art at Oxford Brookes University. The work is called Body Swap. So um, here for this show, I'm exhibiting a research archive. I worked a lot with the homeless community, and um, and, the, and I began to work with the prostitute community. Body Swap is essentially kind of a contemporary performance, uh, art therapy esque thing um, that. It kind of in order to bring peace to somebody. I was very interested in the kind of Christ-like um, sort of uh, passing on of baggage from one body to another body. So I was really interested in the swapping of the skin, the idea that somebody is willing to take on their body what is on your body. The lady that I worked with, um, you know, she really loved making it because she would say things like, this is like therapy for me and I don't get to talk to anybody about what I've been doing. She said she felt dirty and she felt kind of uh, like trapped in her own kind of body. There's a book, Body Swap the Book, which is uh, in the archive here. Uh, this one uh, was the original and there was only 20 copies ever made um, in order that they could be passed and swapped and reused from person to person as a metaphor for her lifestyle and for her for what has happened to her. I'm Alex Wolfe. I've been studying at Northwest Kent College in Dartford, um, fine art course. One of my videos is called I Am What I Am What Am I. It's kind of like a, a journey of like self-discovery. It's about um, identity and basically being who you are to your extreme. Throughout the first year at, um, at college, it was and there was a lot of painting, a lot of sculpture, and it just wasn't really I didn't get enough energy from it and I think after I discovered using film, like being able to mix the music with it, it just creates something that's completely different. My name is uh, Dara Naim Mubarak Almona. I've been studying at Oxford Brookes University for the last three years. I was studying fine art there. The title is Al-Hawiya, which uh, in Arabic means identity. It's um, a piece of work that's really helped me understand my own culture and my own practice. Um, I try to break free and allow my, my work to just evolve and create itself as opposed to have a specific concept for it, just you know, let it flow. It's a mixed medium. I've used a lot of things from ink to acrylic to pastels to a sticker work. The eye in the middle is a sticker. Um, I've got some uh, house paint, recycled things that I found and I've just smashed in there. Um, the, if we were looking for a concept, well, something that I have uh, a lot of interest in is scale. Scale is very important for me. I feel like it's a really interesting way how scale can challenge your perception of things. My name is David Beaumont. I'm from Nuneaton in Warwickshire, near Coventry. I've been studying at Coventry University, BA Fine Art. The title of my collection is Desperate UK. It's about the financial situation we have at the moment in the country. We have got a financial debt that is one of the largest in the world. It's coming from a working class background. Um, I know how difficult it is to get into uh, further education. Uh, I left school with no qualifications. And um, I persevered in, in part-time courses whilst working in factories and warehouses and uh, got myself to university. This one on my left is a storm drain in my town, Nuneaton, and it's area frequented by youths riding motorbikes and using it as graffiti, area to graffiti. I'm using this as a metaphor for the situation of the economy at the time, suppressed anger. I was watching the um, local news and I, I found out that the houses were being demolished and the council's got no money and people are being uh, forced, pretty much forced out of their homes and these houses are being knocked down, they're going to be rebuilding new ones. You can't um, take away all, this, all the, the, the problems in, socially by knocking down houses, you've got to sort of repair the social fabric first. 
before you knock down bricks and mortar. I'm Joan Ailey and I've been studying fine art at Oxford Brookes University. I've got a complex health condition where I can't tolerate food, so I've got a jejun and feeding tube. Um, the work's all about beautifying the edible um, and it relates to my like, relationship to food in relation to other people's. So it's a collection of work um, which includes a book which is my relationship to food and then there's bits um, which include other people's personal experiences with food. Um, there's the cake which is made of tripe which is cow's stomach. I use tripe as that is um, dead stomach which is dysfunctional like my own. Um, the table is coal fat, um, which I use because it's beautiful and it goes around internal organs of animals. Um, I also wanted to use a table as it's like the offering of food, um, but food is suggested, however it's absent, there's a void um, and there are stomach noises which highlight the void. My name is Holly and I've been studying at Northwest Kent College. The title of my work is The Slaughterhouse and it's about my childhood and the rejection of the toys that my mum gave me as a child. I was quite a bit of a tomboy, so um, I wanted to play with cars and run around in the dirt instead of playing with dolls. I work mostly with oils. Um, I start by priming them, obviously, waiting for them to dry. Um, and then I use mostly um, square paint brushes uh, with lots of oil and just have fun and go crazy, really, that's my process. I've been lucky enough to win an award. It was an um, um, old fire station award in Oxford, where they have given me a studio for a year. Uh, this obviously has come after working a lot throughout the whole year and trying to promote yourself. Um, that's what's next for me, just trying to do as much work as possible throughout this year now that I have the space and now that I have people supporting me through it and um, just sell as much work as possible really. I'm going to Goldsmiths in September and I've uh, accepted my place and sorted my funding and I move in in the start of September. I need to get enough money so that I can fund actually continuing to create work. Um, I'd also like to do a tattoo apprenticeship um, so I'm creating a portfolio at present. Um, well, I got into Central St Martins for fashion design. I start in September. I think that's much more um, geared to what I want to do. I guess because my practice is so, um, so specific to the people uh, in Oxford, because uh, that's where I studied, that's where I started making my work, um, uh, I, f I feel like it's appropriate that I stay for a little while. It's not quite, I'm not quite ready to leave yet. I continue to, to work in this, in this narrative because it seems to be just ongoing nightmare at the moment. And then I'll move on to something else. And whatever catches my eye, I'll, I'll just latch onto it. Be yourself and don't be afraid to do what you want. Don't be scared and just be really brave and go for it and have fun. Continuously look further afield. I just keep looking and working. University will help you understand your practice and everything and it will teach you so much about art. But the art does not stop at university at 6 o'clock when the courses are over or the you know, 9 to 6 is over. I think it should continue throughout the, throughout the three years that you've got the time to be a student and the time to elaborate your work. It's when you should you know, promote yourself the most. Because once you're done, you already have that background or that's something to lean back on as opposed to just finish and hope for something to happen. Just keep making things and do what you do so you don't have to change your practice because you've left university. You just kind of stick to what you do and keep, if your practice stayed the same it would be, you know, like unfulfilling and unsuccessful for you. So keep developing your work and keep, keep making things. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,